They're all vying for the right to be called the champions of Africa. Kenya's women's football team, known as the Harambe Starlets, are desperate to participate in July's Aukan in Morocco. As an individual, this is my first call-up, and it's a good opportunity for me to play. And I've put in so much work and effort, so it will be great if we get to participate in, in this tournament. In January, the Confederation of African Football received a letter from the chief officer of Kenya's Football Federation withdrawing the team from a key qualifier. It was a devastating blow for the players and a puzzling surprise for officials. Sports Minister Amina Mohammed said no such request was authorized, suggesting that the letter could be fraudulent. It seemed the team were caught in the middle of a tussle between the sports ministry and the Football Federation. They are not supposed to be eliminated because of some maybe boardroom or some fights that are, are happening. And uh, we hope that uh, FIFA and CAF are going to uh, uh, respond uh, to the letter that we've already sent. And uh, uh, it's their right, and it's the right of uh, every athlete or every footballer uh, to compete. And uh, we cannot deny these women the chance to maybe uh, qualify for World Cup just because uh, we have some uh, wrangles in, 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 in Kenya. Kenya was hoping to place in the top four so they could advance directly to the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. If we don't make it to play the, the match against Uganda, it's really going to demoralize us because this is the, it's a golden opportunity for us to go to Aukon and also go to World Cup where there's very big opportunities for us as players. So we just hope that we're going to play that Uganda clash, qualify for Aukon and eventually qualify for World Cup. The conflict has been a massive disruption for the players in the lead-up to their last qualifiers. But the Harambe Starlets hope that FIFA and CAF will reverse the withdrawal so they can showcase their talent on the biggest stage. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.